for 10 years, have been living the life of a recluse. I, Takashi Nagura, have almost never left my house since the age of four. Recently, I've gotten into... Hey guys, it's Masamune! So there's this junior high school student who spends his entire day carrying around weights. Today, he's going to attempt the Tobibako, and I'm going to show you how he does. Let's go! I want to know the truth! Watching YouTube videos of Masamune. Oh, school looks fun. For someone like me who spent 10 years indoors, going to school is not easy. There's a reason why things are the way they are. Yay! When I was little, I used to be happy and full of energy. One day, when I was playing outside, I got run over by a truck and was taken straight to the hospital. Although I was okay, ever since this incident, I became scared of leaving the house. It's too late to start going to school now. This is what I used to think. In the world, there are many different types of people. There are people who are experts at their part-time jobs. There are rebels who are good fighters but enjoy sweets. Everyone has a good side to them. And sometimes you only discover this when you try something new. So I encourage you all to always try new things. Masamune, what great advice! This is why I keep coming back to this channel. Trying new things? I wonder if I can do it. If I don't act now, there's a chance I might never go to school. What's wrong, Takashi? I want to go to school. Really? So you finally summoned up the courage. Oh, I'll contact the school. A new kid is coming to school today. I heard he's been a recluse for 10 years. I wonder what he's like. 10 years of recluse is pretty crazy. I mean, I'm sure he's super weird, but I can't wait to see what he's like. As of today, a new student will be joining us. Go on and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Takashi Nagura. I'm sure I'll cause you a lot of trouble, but uh, please be nice to me. His voice is so quiet. I can tell he's been indoors for 10 years. Hey, don't be mean. He's been ever to come here. He smells of having been indoors for 10 years. <sighs> I wasn't sure whether I was going to get along with everybody. The first class was maths taught by our homeroom teacher, Mr. Hashiba. Can anyone solve this? I've got a good idea. Yes, sir! Okay, Hugo. Come to the blackboard and show me your answer. Not me, sir. Apparently, Takashi-kun knows the answer. Uh, what? He says that because he's still getting used to school. He doesn't know when he's meant to raise his hand. So I raised it for him. Oh, right? Okay, Takashi-kun. Come forward and write your answer. Um... <laughs> he has no idea. Um, which symbols do I use? Everyone's watching me. What shall I do? Having reached the peak of my nerves, I start writing whatever comes to mind on the blackboard. What the hell is that? This is an art class. What language is he writing in? Oh no, I've done it now. This is... What's up, Mr. Hashiba? These are hieroglyphs. This is an ancient language known as hieroglyphs. What are hieroglyphics? What? An ancient language? Takashi-kun, where did you learn to write this? Um, one day I could just write them. How could that be possible? Furthermore, I can't believe it. He's right. He's right. He solved questions in hieroglyphs. I've never had a student like this. Takashi-kun, I would like to chat with you. Okay. I'm a math teacher and have a love for ancient history. I even belong to an ancient history club. How come he knows that stuff? Hieroglyphs are a system of writing that use symbols and pictures used by the ancient Egyptians. Why would a recluse like you know hieroglyphics? My understanding of hieroglyphs began after my accident. So, this manga about ancient history is popular. I first saw it on a steel in a digital book I was reading. For some reason, I was able to read ancient writing without much difficulty. So this is the kind of orders kings in the past used to give. I wonder why I understand these symbols. At first, I was a little unsure about it. 
but thanks to developing an interest in ancient writing systems, I studied more and more about it and became super knowledgeable. History is so interesting! I want to learn more! Because I wasn't going to school, I did have to study extra hard. But I know I'm good at history. Takashi-kun, this is an amazing skill! I just happen to be good at it. I can't believe you're so good at using ancient writing! Well, that's so cool! Does that mean you can read the Rosetta Stone? You can become an archaeologist! <sighs> he doesn't deserve all this praise. I'm sure he's not even that good. I've got a great idea. Ah, <sighs> uh, what should I make my next video about? Oh, hang on. This sounds interesting. Hello! I really enjoy your videos. There's a kid at my school who can read ancient writing systems perfectly. I would like you to come meet him. This kid can read ancient writing? That's a feat that's even difficult for experts. This is really interesting. I'm sure I can get a lot of views from this. What a great way to prove he's not all that he's made out to be. I'm sure he'll embarrass himself. Hello, everybody. It's Masamune. Today, I'm live streaming a kid at this school with an amazing skill. The kid today is said to understand the ancient Egyptian writing system known as hieroglyphs. Wow, he really is Mr. Masamune. Hello. Your video gave me the willpower to go to school after being a recluse for 10 years. Thank you so much. Really? I'm so glad I make videos. I've managed to help people. Oh, oh, sorry for getting emotional on a live stream, guys. Why don't we start by getting you to introduce yourself using hieroglyphs? Okay. These are ancient symbols. My name is Takashi Nagura. My hobby is learning about history. And that's what I wrote. Wow, you can write it just like you're writing Japanese. Hang on a second. I don't think those are ancient symbols. I think he just made them up. Says this student over here. So, I'm going to use the translation app Maniguru to check whether it's correct. I can't wait to see the translation. I'm a professor of archaeology at South Mani University. What the boy is saying is correct. I can't believe a professor is watching this. Well, I guess it's settled then. I have a pro watching, and the app shows that the writing is correct. Oh, this is amazing! Look at all the comments on the video! However, there was one person who was unhappy about this situation. No way! So his hieroglyphs were correct. My name is Yugo Makita. I have the best grade in social sciences. Having said that, how can I allow this nobody to beat me? I have something to say. I think there's no use being able to read unless you know the history well. So, how about we have a history quiz? I'm also confident in my knowledge of history. What do you think, Takashi-kun? Do you fancy taking on your classmate? <laughs> Sounds interesting. Then let's give it a go. Cheers! <laughs> he fell for it. Yugo-kun is so good at history. While he might be good at ancient writing systems, isn't history a bit too hard for him? Things are getting interesting. It's time for a history quiz. The rules are simple. All you have to do is write your answers to my questions on the flipboard. First question. Name the wife of King Louis XVI, who is widely known for the saying, Let them eat brioche. <laughs> this is easy. Um, this is... Both of you are correct. Second question. In ancient Egypt, who built the largest pyramid? Everyone with an interest in archaeology must know this. I think this is... Correct! And yet again, they're both right. Ah, what shall I do? I don't actually know a lot of history myself. Can someone more knowledgeable than me help? I need harder questions. And then... I'm a professor of archaeology at South Mani University. How about these questions? Wow, our viewers have submitted questions for us. Thank you so much. The god of history is here. I can't believe the viewers are submitting questions. <laughs> Question three. Who's the ancient Roman poet credited with works such as the Aeneid? I have no clue what this is. What the hell is that? That's an interesting question. The answer is Virgil. Point goes to Takashi-kun. 
Oh no. Yes. According to the god of history who provided this question, Ibicus is said to be an ancient Greek lyric poet. We still have more questions, so Yugo-kun, don't give up just yet. After that, more questions were asked, and Takashi-kun got them all right. But Yugo-kun couldn't answer any of them and gradually lost confidence. Thanks for watching, and thank you to everyone who joined in. I had fun, and I'm happy I got to help you make a video. <sighs> you were amazing too, Yugo-kun. Don't be upset. No one expected Takashi-kun to be so good. That's true. I watched the entire thing. And I think you should consider going to Motoboshi Academy to study more seriously. Let me explain. What is Motoboshi Academy? Motoboshi Academy gathers promising young minds and teaches them specialist knowledge that isn't covered in the school curriculum. They also teach skills one needs to succeed in life. Motoboshi Academy is that place that only takes in geniuses, right? Might there be a chance that Takashi-kun could be accepted to study there? What? Seriously? This former recluse in Motoboshi Academy? That can't be possible. I would like to give it a go. I think the entrance exams are coming up soon. I can't lose to this guy. I'll do it too! One week later... Today is the day of the general entrance exams for Motoboshi Academy. <sighs> what shall I do? There's so many people. There's no way I'm losing to you. You may begin your exams. What the hell is this? This is much harder than I was expecting. I can't believe people who go here can solve these kinds of questions. One hour later... It's the end of your exams. Please hand in your papers. <sighs> that was terrible. I couldn't answer any questions. The questions were really hard, hey? But his answer sheet is all full. So annoying. Hey, you forgot to write your name. Let me write it for you. Oh, uh, thanks, Yugo-kun. Now, all I need to do is submit this as mine. The day of the results. <laughs> There's no way I didn't get in. I filled in all the answers. I wonder how they did. Either they both passed, or they both failed, or... They both checked the homepage. Takashi-kun's number was on the page, but not that of Yugo-kun. Uh, no way! How could I fail? In the exam room, there were many cameras, and the exam is invigilated by both humans and AI. Takashi-kun has been studying hard at Motoboshi Academy. Is everything going well? Yes, the teachers are so great here. They make me want to learn more and more. Takashi-kun was able to make up for the 10 years of schooling he missed out on with astonishing speed. He says he wants to be an archaeologist when he's older. In this world, there are people who despite never being able to draw, all of a sudden start drawing incredibly photorealistic drawings after being in an accident. It might have to do with a little understood function of the brain. In this world, there are many unexplained things, and it's really interesting. That's it for today, guys. Remember to subscribe. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!